I know something you don't know. You know how a lot of videos talk a lot about things you really didn't care about and just slowly lead you in for like 10 or 15 minutes until finally they get to the point. This isn't one of those. The GH6 is gonna have phase detect autofocus. Now I can't say how I know, but I'm coming to you from Tokyo, Japan. And I'll just say that uh, since I've been here on occasion, magical camera company fairies, they exist. <laughs> and little bits of information trickle their way towards me. Um, yeah. It's, uh, it's, you know, it's one of those things where I can't really say, but yeah, phase detect is coming. So the GH6 uh, is definitely going to be worth the wait for anyone that feels the autofocus is the only thing keeping them away from Panasonic. And I think this is good news, obviously, for a lot of us. And the implications are huge for the future of Panasonic cameras in general. Uh, show them that, that uh, when they release it, show them. Show them that this is really what you were waiting for. Because there's been a lot of doubt, again, from magical fairies. Uh, Panasonic has had a lot of doubt about the validity of phase detect being as uh, is not only useful but actually sought after by the mainstream uh, market buyers. <laughs> yeah, it's late here in Japan right now. I stayed up just to let you guys uh, get this uh, information. Uh, no one else has put this out there or no one else should know this. Uh, except for a few people in Japan. So, so yeah, what I'm basically saying is it's coming, but uh, you, the community, the Panasonic fans that have really been waiting for this, I would say jump on the GH6. Um, I would say, sorry Panasonic, but I would say to anyone that isn't relying on manual focus, probably wait for the GH6 over the GH5 Mark II because we really need to send a loud, clear message that the phase detect is what's been holding us back. Uh, you know, I used to be a Panasonic owner and I went away from Panasonic primarily for autofocus reasons. And I've been wanting to go back for a long time and haven't primarily for autofocus reasons. So yeah. So there, there is some hope here too that maybe the GH5 Mark II might get phase detect in a future update. I, I don't think it's gonna happen. Um, what I've heard is the reason Panasonic uh, hasn't done hybrid phase and contrast to detect like other companies have is that they don't believe that it's possible using the same sensor. Now, whether that was just a cop-out um, for not doing it uh, to date, you know, that's the question. Um, if that's true, then yeah, no, it's not gonna happen. But if it was just a cop-out, GH5 Mark II could get the update, just like the G9 now has dual pixel autofocus. And if you look at the G9 as an example, Panasonic is not above or below, depending on how you look at it, updating firmware, you know, several years after the camera comes out um, with some surprises. You know, the G9 got 10-bit just last year, and now it's got dual pixel autofocus, so. Hmm. Anyways, um, yeah. I think that uh, this is pretty much the only place you're gonna hear this from for a while, 
and the basic reason is I'm a very small channel and you know who in their right mind on one of those big channels would believe me and think that I know what I'm talking about or rather take the chance uh, and be wrong so I would imagine Panasonic isn't gonna release that information until the release date um, another interesting tidbit and this this hopefully will uh, cast more doubt into my credibility and keep this information only here but uh there may be a misunderstanding or an intentional miscommunication um it was said i believe that the gh5 excuse me gh6 is going to be 5.7k resolution um the magical pixies <laughs> Uh, whispered in my ear something more along the t lines of 7.7 .7 or 7.8K resolution, actually very close to 8K resolution. So that, you know, I'm in Japan, lost in translation is a real thing here, and sometimes little mistakes do happen, and that could have been the case. But I'll just say that there is a slight possibility that uh, the resolution is actually going to be closer to 8K than we thought on the GH6. So that's it. I gave you the good information early. I babbled a little bit as I tend to do. Uh, after the fact, uh, I don't think there's much else to say. Um, have some other videos coming though. I'm using a, uh, well actually I'm not using it right now. I've been using a Viltrox 85 millimeter on my Nikon Z6 lately. Uh, that lens is awesome and I actually tested it uh, in shop recently against the 85 millimeter Panasonic Nikon uh, Nikon Z mount Z mount lens and in my limited test using the exact same settings uh, the Viltrox actually outperformed it not only in autofocus uh, reliability and speed but also in the distance it's able to focus a decent amount closer than the Nikon version so Nikon version. Anyways, that's neither here nor there for any Panasonic people, but uh, uh. <laughs> it's coming. It really is phase detect. Look forward to it. You definitely saw it here first. Take it easy and uh, show Panasonic some love for, you know, stubbornly after a long time listening and yeah it's it's gonna be i i never use the word game changer because i hate that i hate buzzwords but this will be a game changer it puts panasonic back in a very very uh good position uh, i think they're going to sell the gh6 like hotcakes so anyways, uh, thank, for, thank you for watching. I do have more content coming. I also have some, uh, I did some bike riding uh, around uh, some forests in Japan until I broke my rib uh, a couple days ago. Anyways, it's true. So I'm gonna have to figure out what kind of content I'm gonna be posting until my rib heals, but something, something's coming. I've got that uh, urge to post more and babble more. Take it easy.